A couple were behind bars after being accused of kidnapping, robbing, and assaulting their own family in Westminster, California. In the early morning hours of the 27th of October, the authorities responded to an apartment at 14,326 Pine Street on reports of a kidnapping and assault with a deadly weapon. When officers arrived, they found a man and woman bleeding from head injuries. The police said the suspects, who had been identified as 26-year-old Michael Alexander Rodriguez and 30-year-old Michelle Rodriguez, were armed with guns when they broke into the home and started demanding money. According to Michelle's mother, the couple broke into her home looking for cash. She was pleading for her life, Lucy Tran said, interpreting for her 49-year-old mother, Dan Vo. She had stitches she received from a pistol whipping allegedly at the hands of her son-in-law. He hit her in the teeth, the jaw. He was manhandling the hell out of my mum, Lucy said. It all started on the afternoon of the 26th of October, when the couple barged into the Westminster apartment, and according to those who were inside, began ransacking the home. Lucy's boyfriend Ronnie said that's when he had a gun in his hand, pointing it at us to get on the floor and telling us what to do. That's when he pistol whipped me, and later on he pistol whipped her. He'd already pistol whipped the mum, he said. Looking for money in the walls, he was coming up with these delusions in his head, Lucy said. That night the couple allegedly kidnapped the entire family, forcing them into a U-Haul van, including Vo, Lucy, her boyfriend Ronnie, and another 14-year-old sister, and then drove them to La Quinta Inn, located at Costa Mesa, about seven miles away. Lucy said that Michael had an AK-47 in the back of a U-Haul, and he was pointing it at us the entire ride, as he was drinking and smoking cigarettes. We were terrorised the whole entire ride until we got to the hotel, she said. The authorities said that the couple also brought their six-month-old baby boy with them. Hours later, the hostages escaped from the hotel early in the morning on the 27th of October, while Michael was having a shower and called for help. Commander Kevin McCormick with Westminster Police said the motive was money. Later that day, the couple were arrested near Golden West Street and Westminster Boulevard. Inside the rented van, police found an AK-47 style rifle and a handgun which were both reportedly loaded. He's just bad news, Lucy said. After the traumatizing ordeal, Dan doesn't want to believe her daughter acted on her own. Her family said that Dan believes it has a lot to do that she's with somebody who's influencing her to do such things. Lucy feels very differently about her sister. I think my sister is accountable for her actions. Nobody put drugs in her to make her do all these things. She put this on herself and her family, she said. The couple is held at the Orange County Jail and faces charges of kidnapping, robbery, assault, and child endangerment because their son could have been harmed. Michael's been held on a $1 million bond, whereas Michelle's been held on a $100,000 bond. A man has been apprehended following the stabbing death of two people in a parking lot outside a busy shopping centre in Palmdale, California. The incident occurred at around noon on the 26th of October at 39,850 10th Street West in front of Coles. The victims have been identified as father and daughter, Ken Evans, who's in his 60s, and his 22-year-old daughter, McKenna Evans. McKenna was pronounced dead at the scene whereas Kim was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead shortly thereafter. The authorities said that the suspect and Ken lived in their own cars, which were parked in the lot, and McKenna was visiting her father. Elizabeth Evans, McKenna's mother and Ken's wife, said her husband was in the parking lot working on his car before the attack. The authorities said that the suspect had asked the male victim for assistance regarding his vehicle, during which time an argument ensued. The argument led to a physical fight, and ultimately the stabbing of both victims. The suspect, who remained at the scene, was taken into custody without incident. Footage of the arrest showed a bearded shirtless man in a vest and cap being held by deputies. Elizabeth said that when the suspect was in handcuffs, he had a smirk on his face. How dare he? I hope he never gets out of prison, she said. Kamiki Treese, a witness to the ordeal, said she was shopping for Halloween supplies with her two young children. When she came out to the parking lot and saw the incident unfold in front of her, she said a man came after a lady who was screaming running back and forth in the parking lot when he stabbed her a couple times in the back on the side of her ribs and her stomach. She fell down and the attacker walked away from it, came back and started stabbing her again. He then walked away, came back, kicked her and stabbed her some more. The attacker then stabbed a man a couple of times as he tried to help the woman and as the man went to get back into his vehicle, the attacker continued stabbing him. 
The suspect has not been named, but is expected to face murder charges as the investigation into the matter continues. 31-year-old Demetrius Hill is behind bars after being accused of fatally shooting 31-year-old Anita Hyatt. At around 1am on Friday the 28th of October, the authorities were called to the Super 8 Hotel, located at 4400 Regency Drive in High Point, North Carolina, on reports of an assault. When they arrived, they found Anita had been shot multiple times. She was rushed to a local hospital in a critical condition and died a short time later. The authorities identified Demetrius, who's the ex-boyfriend of Anita, as the suspect. He's charged with murder and possession of a firearm, and he's held at the Guilford County Jail without bail. The authorities said that further charges are pending, and no additional details will be released at this time. Demetrius has an extensive criminal history. In 2008, he was convicted on charges of an assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, inflicting serious injury, conspiracy, and assault on an officer. In 2009, he was convicted of robbery with a dangerous weapon. Both incidents took place in 2007. He was released from prison in July of 2020.